to be able to sort of hold back the, the wave and make sure that you don't feed. It's bottom lane, Eho. They've already found themselves a bit of a way to start the game off. A grab back and a drag back into the clutches of VT Faded and Eho. Oh, talking about getting active, he certainly is. Rotating towards yep. the top lane, and he comes as soon as he hits level six, ready to use that god strength to chop down Tiger. VT Faded was happy to use that ultimate to clear out that wave. Bottom lane, Mikke is in trouble. Fabian and Jinkyu will get on top of him. Imagine missile from Insanius. Holds back the Sensor for a little bit, but Mikke is incredibly low. He's trying to hide in the trees for as long as he can. And in fact, with the right sort of jukes, he might just make it. Gets himself around, doesn't matter. Jinkyu's got the reach, but the Fade Bolt. Having more and more stacks for this spam would be huge. Insania did step up for, to, to go for the D ward. It cost him his life and another death down here on the bottom area of the map. A TP is going to come TPing, over. Yeah. I want to try and abuse the fact that Mikke is alone. Drag back into the hoof stomp. 897 walks down the lane. He's enraged with the cold snap. And they keep the invoker yeah. safe. And now they might even turn Boxy. He tries to walk forward. There's going to be the swap save from Insania getting Boxy out of range, but still the Golem is on top of him. The stolen swap from Jinku dragging Insania back. The Urn of Shadows, and there's the second charge for Jinku trying to bring him into the reach of 897. Tornado is out. Insania has got to deal with that Golem. Hand of God will keep him alive for the vision there for the Fable. Great three man stun though. Mikke, he's looking for the setup. Turn around. Boxy's in. Follow up Avalanche. And it's actually Liquid that end up coming out on top. They're taking down all three of Eho. Going to be very few options for Ehom to deal with that. See, they'll get themselves a quick and easy one onto Tiger. Blink initiation and also scout the smoke. And there he is, Boxy again from top lane down towards the bottom half of the map. Very much a laning stage, lets everyone farm. The game hasn't begun yet. It wasn't until like the first few items came out that the game really begun for Team Liquid. And suddenly they've just taken off getting kills with this tiny blink dagger. Now they're into Roche. Ehome either don't suspect this or just feel like they can't contest it. And as you can see, you know, some of their heroes continue to take such a hit in the goal. This the Invoker incredibly far behind. Ehome, they're going to try and charge in. Roche has already been taken and saying he's able to swap back Boxy. Now Faded, he's on the front lines. And of course, he doesn't have the God Strength ready to go. So they cannot choose to fight this Ehome. Been spotted. Boxy. He could have been one to start things off. He's in with the avalanche and already. 897 put down to half. They get the golem drop down onto the three of them. They'll turn towards Boxy, but a great swap from Insania. Keep Boxy safe. Faith Beyond is there on the high ground looking for the wraparound. Straight on top of BK with the who stop. They're bringing in the Sven. He's BKP. God's trick. Has he got the damage to bring down this less? He has not. Mickey's just able to walk away from him. Quite is now going to turn up towards the fray. Only Insania to fall. The golem's getting low. Boxy jumps in. The toss back into the two man avalanche. He's caught the two of them. Faith Beyond's falling low. The central gets one more. Who's on power, but he does die. Faded as well with a BKB wearing off, cannot escape. Yeah, Faded is able to use his power because he's still, you know, his farm is looking very, very solid, keeping on par with that Aquifer's brood by there. And top lane, Mikke was pushing out entirely on his own, going very deep as the Lesh. Gold lead shut down a little bit. But for poke onto Faded, he is going to try and turn. Stolen onto Quake, but they lift him up, but there's the save. Insania will be able to swap Quake for him, bail him out. And he needed it. Yeah. That was very close to a, a, being a very dead spider as uh, the, the Aegis was gone. Hugging a tier 2 top tower. He was on the furthest away possible part of the map. And try and go mid. This time. There's just, no bench. There's no backup. Quite, but he's out alone. Blow this up. Y it's you're going to need that. You're going to need that sort of guaranteed hit. These fights are going to last longer than the five seconds. Roshan. They're going to head over, they're stampeding in, can they get themselves towards the pit? They're going to head out, Liquid's going to look to try and take the fight, the Golem's been dropped out, Quaker, he's getting low, he's stunned up, can he get his little out? I can, Insania will be able to swap him to safety, now he puts the BKP, but he still has to respect the hits of Fade and he cannot stand near the Sven. They left Roche so low, both teams have used BKBs here, Sven just wants to finish yeah, up Roche. He's in. Yeah, I don't think Liquid necessarily know this. But he's now going to look to walk out the pit and walk into Boxy. He was ending up sitting by the mouth of the Roche pit. God's strength has ended though. Boxy is going to look to jump forward, goes to the three man avalanche, the follow up from Mikke, gets the two of them with the split up. Fade behind, stepping back in. Who stops on a Mikke to hold back the left? A follow up stop from Fade, he gets the two of them, focuses on the Mikke. Mikke will use himself up to buy some time. Quite for turns back with Boxy. Faded is dead. They've got the Sven of Boxy. He's not done yet. Jumps forward with the three man avalanche. Ye home have to get out to back off with Sven dead. I don't think they can contest this Roshan. And Liquid should be able to clean this one back up. Yeah. Quifer's back in, pops the ult, and they will 
Claim the Roach going the way of Liquid. Aegis and Cheese will be theirs. With these, he blinks on one hero, tosses him to his teammates, and sets up these like three man avalanche split earth combos. Lesh is keeping home to get some items and will have boots to travel or the Chen recall. So they can go for Boxy. Walks straight in, gets the toss back on a Faith Beyond. Faith Beyond is in trouble. They will get the Stampede. He's already used that BKB. He had to use it to get away when he was farming the camp. So he's got it. He hasn't got it for this defense. He's dead for a minute. There's no buyback on him, but now Fade is back in the game. Jumps forward, commits with the BKB and the God Strength. He's cut down Insania. He's trying to step in for more. Mickey pots the BKB. He gets out of range. Um, just to kind of boost him up towards the late game. Maybe they're going to fix it with some kills like this. Very well needed catch. This yep. time he's been causing a lot of issues for them. They have the high Head ground the advantage river. here on Eho. This is a risky place for Liquid to go in. Boxy's going to look to start things off. He finds Fabian, Fabian Fade in with the BKB. God strength as well. Look towards mid game. Zampi's pop. They're trying their best to keep this fan on top of the targets. And he does take down Insania. But again, can they get anything more? As soon as that BKB wears off for Faded, he has to get out of there. Kuiper's now the one to push E home back. Got trying to. Liquid. And yeah, we'll look to jump forward here, Boxy. It's the Avalanche forced forward to try and get the toss back. But now he's in a terrible position. Insania does bail him out. Of course, once again, this will cost by the looks of it. Insania his life as Faded focuses him down, pops the BKB to guarantee the kill on the vengeful spirit. Constantly see just how small of a window it is, and Faded knows. You see him st stick around for a couple of hits, and then he's already leaving the fight. Mid lane. Yeah. Stampede, having to be popped, keep Shinkyu safe. Try and go for a bit of a poke back, missing the timing there. Faith Bian, so Boxy will be able to walk himself away. But they're quite for, let me see if he can find someone on the back line. So he's got his eyes on Y in the trees. That is a dead and gone Warlock. Talon as well. Faded. So gonna head towards the pick, gets tossed back into the chain stun. Magic Missile as well, he's falling low, he's gonna die! Does not get the chance to use the BKB, will have to buy back. As he home do want to try and stop Liquid from getting a hold of this Roshan. It is scary here for him, they've got to make sure this is the perfect jump. Faded off the back of that buyback, cannot afford to make any mistakes. He's trying to step forward and he blades out. He's popped the God Strength, but he cannot get in. Boxy just keeping Faded held away from the fight. Yeah. Runes, he's got to be careful yeah. if he gets in range of a swap or a setup. Magic, uh, sorry, the Wave of Terror giving them the vision. They're keeping on top of him, slowing him down. Swap back, past the Stampede. Magic Missile will look him down for a little bit, but he's got the back. of Ice Wall's down. Mickey, though, he's in with the Wrap Brown. Another swap to get himself into the center of it all. Coin for Pots the BKB. They're on top of the Warlock. No spells are getting thrown out at all by Y. Dead for 50. He loses the Rubik, too, as Ehome are getting forced back towards the base. Another swap from Insania grabbing him out. Now the buyback's coming to play. Cataclysm is down. The Venge is gone. They turn over towards Boxy. With the BKB up and faded, it finally falls. Avalanche slows him a little bit, but he stays on top of the target. This time, we'll be able to get the double kill and take down the Tiny. Get himself out, out for the Glimmer Cape, and a Stampede to get him away. Telekinesis for Jin Q will make sure that Spider quite for can't chase anymore. Oh, the back line's faded. He committed with a BKB, tried to get the kill, the swap back into the Avalanche. Now Fade Beyond's in trouble. Boxy up to the high ground, tossing the Warlock outside of the base. So again, Y cannot get his combo down. That's Y gone. Fade Beyond as well. Swap as well, of course, with that Axe, able to still help out from the Grave Insania. That extra Venge illusion. Now the buyback from Fade Beyond. His other cause he now faded turns, two man stern follow up, who's done from Fade behind, they're locking down both Boxy and Mickey, they're bringing them low with the cleave, they'll get Mickey the once, Boxy forced to the side, setting him up with the Yules, they'll chop down the tiny, can they kill Mickey a second time? Boxy's gonna buy back, knows that they have the edge here Liquid if they can push on. Still a Warlock gone for a minute, Eheim having to use more buybacks to hold back Liquid. Okay, without Aegis though, so they may feel there's a way play to make. Oh, and Boxy is in toss back. Oh, They've tried dodge. to commit here with Faded, Faded, falling low, the silence upon him, another swap from Insania, getting him back into the claws of the spider. No it's buyback. Quite for eats him alive, Faded is dead for two minutes. Faith Bian's BKB will allow him to run away, but Boxy's in. Rules up, won't quite finish off Faith Bian, they at least keep the Centaur safe. But with Faded gone, Seems like this eternal struggle from e -Home is getting closer and closer to an end. They got Boxy though, these double edges doing so much damage. Yeah. And Liquid just going for the second lane of Rax, but I think they're realizing they've got to get the hell out of here. Got the setup. Mickey. 
It's got quite for Antiger trying to do his best to help him out, but Mickey's dead as well. Yeah, quite has got no BKB. I mean, if they get quite for Cold Snap, there's a swap save. And they keep eyes on him in Sania, swap down. Ice Wall's there as well to stop him from being able to run away. Mickey's brought back to help out. Yeah, they e home realized they got to disengage. Sven's still dead. Uh, Spirit Vessel charged down. There's the BKB committal to clean up the Warlock. Continue to look to close this one up. Yeah, they're playing it very safe, but we'll see if Ehom can punish. Oh, 897 steps forward, gets swapped back by Insania. Mickey's got the follow up stun, silences out. 897 needs help, he's not going to get it. The Invoker's dead, he has got the buyback as well available. So does Faded now, but he is only 20 seconds away from respawning, so ideally wanting to be able to hold on to that. They'll nuke down Insania. Mickey, he gets away. Faith Bian tries for the Blink Q stun, but it's not quite in range. If they can get Mickey or Boxy. Faded blinks in. Gets the stun on Tiger. Faith Bian's going to be there. They're focusing now. Mickey, the golems drop. He catches the three of them. Can they get the kills? The Cataclysm's there. Bring it alone with the Yule's dodge. Mickey, he's so low, though. The Hannah got a heal to both. He blocked the BKB in the backups now. They're for Kuiper. They'll push back on the Invoker. Faded. Another stun out onto Tiger. Tiger's dead. Buyback from the Chen. Force up to the high ground. From Jin Q as he kites out. Mickey, Mickey. Trouble. Mickey on the front lines. He needs help. We've got a stun out to Fate Beyond. Faded has to back away. With the BKB and God's Rank used, he will retreat for now. Mickey will survive, oh. but you saw that. I mean, they got so close to killing Mickey. It's yeah. still so hard with the saves. They have 897. It's got BKB and God's strength ready once more. Faded. Jumping for Fate BR. Mickey's on the front. Force down. And again, he blades out, but Faded will be able to remove it with the BKB. Swaps there. Insania will be the one to fall as he saves his teammates once again. Now they can turn and focus. Force down. They're trying to separate the Sven for the rest of the team. Sven's got to get out of there. The Glimmer Cape helping only just a little bit, but the combo's down. Faded's out. Buys back. Fate BR gets the two man who stopped. They need to get faded back over it ASAP. Stun out onto the tiny. The lift's there. They drag back Mickey. Without that god strength for BKB, faded, struggling to be able to commit. They've held though. Oh, they catch Mickey's TP out. And they finish him. Tiger and Boxy watching from the side. Mickey going for another TP out. Oh, they've got another ATOS, Sania. <laughs> The swap save. Is he baiting or not? I now can't tell. In onto Fade Beyond. Fade is trying to help the ball. Cry throws out a stun. Insane here going in aggressively. The Glimmer Cake will not be enough to save Fade Beyond. Dead for two minutes. 15 seconds. They'll get 897 back in the game. Y is dead. He has got buyback. So they will have some sort of a defense, but it will be one without the Centaur. As Liquid look to finish off the Grax and go for the Mega Creeps. Fortification slows them a little bit. Now with the BKB, Mickey is not messing around this time. BKB's TP's out, nothing to stop it through it. Needs to play Dota or will Liquid finish the throw. Tier fours are going down. Creeps will finish it off. Throne is exposed, E-Home. Their the last chance here to try and hold them back, but Liquid will pop the BKBs. E onto the Ancient and will close up the game as they'll take game one of the best of three, Liquid.